have to say one thing. There is a big news tonight. Big news from Aziz. Connect. All right, let's start. Ready? What's the big news? Are you guys gonna sit? Hi! Oh my god! Hi, Aziz. Hello. Hello. Come say hi, Charlie. Come inside. Wait, wait, wait. Hey! Hi! Hi! Hello! Charlie, come see to us. What do you want to tell us? We're all here. Come inside. Tutto bene. Sempre sto cucinando. Bellissimo. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see you there. Oh, uh, so, you know, it's, it's, I'm so glad I came to Modena right before all this started. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're right. It, it was in Modena just right before. My God, it's so incredible. We, we were in Bologna airport, like middle of February. And uh, I remember when we landed, they were checking temperature. And I was like, wow, this yeah. seems really a little overcautious for Bologna airport. And little, little did you know. So when you were leaving Bologna, they were checking your temperature? Yeah. When I landed in Bologna, like middle of February, yeah. um, they were checking oh, the temperature for everyone that was coming in. And I was yeah. like, oh my God, that seems really intense. Wow. Yeah, it's true, because when I was coming back from uh, Los Angeles, they were checking the temperature yeah. Yeah, at Bologna Airport, yeah, when yeah. we were arriving. Yeah. And, and we were just, you know, hanging out and everything seemed... You know, the normal. restaurant was like completely full, full that's we, it. Doing everything we can no longer You've do, been traveling, there. You've been there. eating at restaurants, seeing friends in different countries. It, it, oh my it was, God, oh my God, it's so good. It feels like it's such so a different good. world now. So you're in London, right? Yeah, I, I'm here in London. My girlfriend Serena's here, but she's camera shy, but she's here with me and... Uh, Come on, camera shy. Oh. Say <laughs> hi to people. <laughs> there are just thousands of people watching. Don't, don't be worried, don't be shy. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Ciao! <laughs> <laughs> you have to know that. Nice you know, to see you guys. I, I, Aziz is such a great friend. You know, it's like oh, and, oh thank you, know, you guys. And you know, I've been so thankful. I've been sending messages to all my. So for people that don't know, like after I did um, season one of Master Nun, I knew that the um, season was going to be with me living in Italy, and so I, I lived in Modena for a few months, and uh, that's where I met you guys. And uh, I mean, I, I cooked a little bit, but not much. And then, uh, but all that time in Modena learning how to cook, it's, it's, it's proved in, so valuable in this time because uh, that's all I do now is cook full time. It's, 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 oh my it's, God. Avete sentito, ragazzi italiani? Avete sentito cosa ha Aziz? È venuta a Modena. La cucina gli è entrata talmente tanto nel DNA che adesso tutto quello che fa è cucinare, 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 cucinare. È pazzesco, eh? l'Italia è così, l'Italia ha un effetto strano eh, sotto, che entra Ma sotto la pelle della gente. Aziz ha imparato anche italiano. E Aziz così, parla così. italiano. Ho capito Par così, così. Un pochino so, così. Aspetta che c'è Pisama che ti vuol dire ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Charlie, come stai? Ciao. ciao. Dai, la... Dici, come Alexa, stai? Come stai? Eh. Sto bene. Sto bene, sto bene. Vedi che fai italiano? And look, I'm, I'm drinking a wine from uh, Emilia Romagna, actually. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah. That's good. So, That's great. Uh, you have no idea how many questions you have. You have to what? answer. We're going to stay here for two hours. But, but, oh, my God. That seems a little long. No, no, no. I know. I know. I know. Let's backtrack one second. What year was it that you came? It was February... 20. 2015? No, 2016? 20, no, no, a little longer than that. 2015. It was after... I think it was 2016. 2015, yeah. Wow. And... Ah, it was after Expo, yeah, right? 2016. 2016. And everyone, no one... I mean, this is before, you know, Netflix was really big in Italy and stuff, so, you know, people didn't know who I was, and they're like, oh, this guy, who is this guy running around? <laughs> Netflix hadn't come to Italy, that's right. Yeah. And so your show wasn't known by the Italians and you were walking around London, I remember you telling me, and you were like, this is kind of weird. Like, nobody really recognizes me because in the, you were living in New York at the time where yeah. everybody knew who you were. Oh, I How did that feel? And then when we came back to film, because I would tell people, people like, what are you doing in Modena? And, and I would say, oh, um, oh uh, uh, 
fatto un programma di Netflix, <ride> si chiama Maestro de Niente. E, uh, <ride> mio personaggio nel programma. Uh, <ride> personaggio. Uh, Italia. And I would explain everything. Uh, and they'd be like, okay, you have a TV show. And then when it was filmed, <laughs> it was this huge production. And it was in all the papers and everything. And we had like, you know, Italian actors like Alessandra and uh, Ricardo Scamarcio. And it was like all the newspaper. I remember Ricardo Scamarcio, he played Pino in the show. He came to shoot. And, uh, and uh, it, was, um, it was in like, there's like the newspaper stand in Modena where they have the headlines written. And we were just walking by and it just said, Scamarcio Arrivera. <laughs> like, oh my God. It was so funny. Oh my God. So, that's, that's amazing. You're, you're that's like amazing. a very famous, you know, Modernese. Modernese now. Like, very famous. And now when, when I come back, it's so funny because I'll go to like the, you know, we filmed in all the places I used to go to, the coffee shops and everything. And, yeah. you know, whenever, uh, uh, what, uh, what's the in guy's Capuchino. name? Cappuccino. Cappuccino, uh, Ma Mauro. He's like, three. he's like, oh my God, like everybody comes here from Australia and China and everything. They all want me to make them an espresso. And it was just so amazing. And I, Aziz, so that, uh, Aziz they now Canada. have the Aziz Ansari tour. Like some tour guides in Modena yeah. will organize the Aziz Ansari tour going to every single place that was in Master of None. And I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting a piece of that. That's me. I set that up. No, no, I didn't. Look, 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 Alexa, keep, uh, keep uh, writing down questions. I don't know what, but okay, we're gonna cut down. But, uh, you know, so who's cooking tonight? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm cooking and Serena's helping. So Serena doesn't really like to cook as much. I'm not very good at cooking. Serena's, uh, Serena's a on, physicist. comfortable in the lab but I'm, I'm she today she made uh she made some veggies vegetables that we ate we ate some what is it serena it's asparagus and spinach in butter uh, and then some lemon It's yeah. very simple. And then <laughs> yeah. we, and need, we, need, um, we need some greens too. Yeah. Yeah. Boil <laughs> matone. Matone. <laughs> 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 brick chicken. So you just cook the chicken thighs and put the brick on top. Ooh. Very nice. Buono, buono. Buono. Yeah. Buono. And then Serena made for dessert, she made a, a panna cotta. Ooh. Yeah. Well, well, fancy. 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 <laughs> It'll be good. <laughs> So, um, but one of the things when you were in Modena that you learned how to do and you spent a lot of time wasn't just cooking, but also learning how to make handmade pasta. Yeah, and we've done a few times we've made pasta here. And uh, again, yeah, I mean, it's such a, uh, so valuable, everything I learned. And, no, and but I have the time to like cook, like, I'm basically like a Nona in this house for Serena. <laughs> <laughs> Serena's still working from home and I have nothing to do. So I'm just like preparing everything and like bothering her like a little kid. But last time, last time, you, you know, did you enjoy um, uh, Casa Maria Luisa, the old things uh, there? I mean, uh, yeah, we went, I mean, that trip to Modena was so great. Serena took me for my birthday. We had a great lunch at Francescana yeah. and, uh, and then we went to Casa Maria Luigi and uh, I love the room that you had with all the vinyl. And it's we like cool, put some vinyl there and, and we're eating like Parmesan and having all <laughs> Parmesan. I mean, it was, it was a great way to kind of uh, go that's out, your, you know, not even realizing. That's your home, away from home, far from I, home. I, so. I, 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 I'm so glad I came before I, all this stuff happened because, you know, I, I think we're so lucky in how, you know, we get to travel and, and uh, you know, you know we all travel for work and everything and we have friends that live all over the world now and and uh i hope whenever this is over it just gives us even more of an appreciation of how fortunate we are to be able yeah. to travel and to see our friends and, 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 and everyone and every things. single one is writing season three season three season three, <laughs> season three. <laughs> well if are i don't do it now then it's are really, you writing it's, season three 
I mean, if I'm not writing something now, it's pretty lazy, right? I've got to write something. Yeah, <laughs> You're stuck at home. Yeah, I know. But yeah, everyone's like, why are you cooking so much? Just like... <laughs> Get the story. Master of pasta. Master of pasta. <laughs> Instead of master of nothing. <laughs> what, are, what are you guys cooking tonight? We're going to have uh, tortellini, two oh. tortellini in broth, because Alexa and Lara love tortellini in brodo, oh. and two tortellini in crema di parmigiano for me and Charlie. It's fun oh. that Celsius here, but we're still having Yeah, we, 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 just, we just... We want tortellini we tonight. Tortellini. In, in your honor, eh? In your exactly. honor. Oh. We no, no, we know, you know that we are doing that. Oh, I remember I came, I came to Francescana uh, with uh, Alessandra, who plays Yeah, uh, you Francesca, remember? And you were, you were there, and you were giving us a tortellini, and you're like, I have two tortellini. I have one tortellini, it's a classic way, and then I have a tortellini that's my <laughs> I way. remember. Which I one remember. do you want? And Alessandra goes, I'll try it your way. And I went, on oh, the classic way. And you're like, okay. That's amazing. And that's then I amazing. ate it, and I was like, oh, I like, I like your way. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's amazing. So... Vai Alexa, fai un po' di domande. Dai! Allora, fa, uh, so, one qu first question. Uh, first, I already asked three or four, but it was, was it hard to make pasta? Or to learn how to roll pasta? Well, I think it's one of these skills. No, because he's very good, eh? He's very good, As I'm he's telling you. much better than me. No, no, he's very good. Yes, you I are. think what's great about making pasta is one of these things that it, 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 and I think about it when I make pizza too, it's like, it's a simple thing. It's just eggs and flour, but to, to really get it, really, really get it right, it, it, it takes a lot of practice and each time you get a little bit better and, it, and it's one yeah. of those things where the, the repetition is so, you know, that's why those, the, you know, you learn from these grandmas because they've been doing it for so long, you know? Yeah. No, no, because uh, you know what I really appreciate? I really appreciate when you were there learning how to make pasta. You know, your, how humble you were and uh, how many people you were trying from one to another and another and experience another. Because each one of us has his own method to make pasta. Taka yeah. or Lydia or, or Angela. Angela, you know, every single one has his own method. Every single one thinks his pasta is the best. And, yeah. uh, and it's not easy. The French usually with their, their cuisine, they keep saying, oh, la pâte, c'est la pâte. Uh, pasta is pasta. No, it's not pasta. It's very difficult to manage, uh, you know, the handmade egg pasta yeah. because you need the dough, you need the warm hand, you need a lot of, uh, you know, mixture, and you have to know how to stop. You have to l l let him sit. Uh, you know, you learn all those, those things, right? I mean, and it's, 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 it's such a beautiful thing that, that, you know, it's such a, a tradition that's been going on for so long that at some point there was flour and eggs and someone started doing this and it, and it became, you know, something that spread throughout the whole country. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's crazy. It's, yeah. All right. We have a question. It says, so you're a funny guy. Tell us one funny thing that you remember that happened when you were in Modena. One funny thing. Okay, I remember like, one thing. So I, so when I first came, I was working at at the tiny pasta shop called Boutique del Tortellino. That's in the show. The, the Boutique in, del in the, Tortellino. Angela, Angela, and yeah, yeah. with Angela and Luca. Uh, and uh, one day we were making um, lasagna. Yeah. And uh, and, and uh, they were showing me everything, and you know, it's a pretty lengthy process to make the lasagna from scratch, making the you know the sheets or the pasta and everything. And I did everything myself, and, and, I, and I made one tray, and Andrew was like, this is for you, you, you can have this. This is yours, you, you eat this for lunch, you did a good job. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool, like what a cool moment. And um, uh, I, I texted uh, Alessandro, who works in your office, who's a yeah. friend of mine. He, yeah. he, he's also in Master None, he's in the coffee shop scene. Ciao Ale. Ciao Ale. Ciao Ale. Ciao Ale. And, uh, so, I called him, I said, hey, uh, I made some lasagna. Should we heat it up and, and eat it for lunch? Because, you know, the, the, everything's so close in Modena, you can just go home for lunch and have lunch. Yeah. He was like, yeah, yeah, perfect. And he, you know, the office is like right across the street from the apartment I was yes. staying from. So we go to meet up at the apartment and I'm riding my bike and I have a plastic bag 
with the lasagna in it. And I'm riding the bike and the plastic bag is just swinging on the handle. And we're ri I'm riding, riding, riding. And then at some point, the bag goes into the spoke of the wheel and, just, and the bike falls down and the whole lasagna got crushed. And then I was like, no, oh my God. And no, then I like, no, it out. no, 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 and then I got to the office and I was like, oh, Sandra, like the, the lasagna, I think it might be messed up. And, and he was like, I, I hadn't looked in the back and I pulled it out and the whole thing was just so destroyed. Oh my God. But, I didn't know this. I didn't know that happened. And yeah. then, but at the same time, I was like, oh my God, this is a great thing I can put in the show. And that's what we, we put in the, in the show. I remember yeah. it in the show. I remember that's, it in the yeah. show. It was inspired by a real, real, real moment. I yeah. thought it was a, was a something, you know, I love out that. of the blue, yeah. Uh, he's crazy. Oh my God. Uh, uh, any future project? Uh, nothing Come I can on, talk about, but... Us. I'm gonna, I'm not telling anyone. I'm not <laughs> telling anyone. It's between me and you. It's between me and you. I mean, I, you know, it, it's, it's you know, the two things that... As is, as is, shh, piano. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the two things that I, I, I do for work, you know, besides writing, I guess, you know, writing I can do now, but like, you know, being on set, you have so many people and, you know, live comedy being in the stage, you can't do. So, you know, I'm just writing right now and, and hopefully whenever uh, things are back to normal in some sense, we can start filming something. But, yeah, you know, I, I, I think, you know, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people like me that are just, you know, it's a frustrating thing because you want to get back to work, but obviously we have to deal with what's happening. But I, yeah. so, what are your, what are some of your friends and colleagues in America or in Los Angeles or New York? What are they talking about? Are they? Did anybody have an idea when things will start again? Are people just trying to get through this? Is there? I think I, I don't think anyone really knows. You know, I think it's frustrating because there's no like. You know, there's no like one, I mean, I, I guess there's kind of the Dr. Fauci guy in America, but there's no like, there's no one that seems like, oh yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about. He'll tell me what's going on. Like we're all right. kind of in the dark. Like no all way. we have is Dr. Fauci. I mean, it's, that's what it feels like it's come down to. Yeah. So I, I just kind of do a day to day and, uh, you know, I just try to try to not make my uh, girlfriend angry by not being too grumpy. <laughs> you know? Because she's working all day and I, I and I'm like, I'm like a little kid that's just like bothering her. Like all those memes <laughs> that people are passing around about like trying to work and their kids bothering them. I'm, I'm like a kid. I'm just like, Cause there's nothing but, to do, I'm just at home. <laughs> <laughs> but besides, Lo yeah, London, yeah. London is a very, is a very heavy situation, eh? Are people starting to go out in London? I mean, London, you know, our neighborhood here, it's kind of a quieter neighborhood. And, you know, there's a park near our house and, and, you know, you go to the park, you see people there, but they're kind of, you know, they're all keeping distance. And you know what you see in the park? There's a lot of guys are like setting up gyms in the park. Like, no. Like doing like pull-ups on trees and like setting up <laughs> rings and just like, you know, doing like uh, a lot of just like calisthenics and like training. And it's like, all right, I get... <laughs> I'm just kind of like, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna plump up. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Everybody oh. that's like worried about exercise, let's just all agree it's cool to plump up a little bit right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can see I can see you're like I'm I'm like I'm doing that on, on my couch. Yeah. First, at first I was like, yeah, I'll do like the seven minute workout every day. Then I was like, yeah, maybe I'll I do like five. half the seven five. minute workout every other there's day. And now I just like do like a couple of push ups like, uh, every week. The <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm on a, I'm five state of mind. Five minutes every day. That's it. <laughs> on my couch. That's it. I've been, you know what I find, uh, you know, I, I, I try to, re I've been trying to read more. Um, I've been listening to records more, you know, He's I try to stay out of records. Yeah. You know, Me like too. a friend of mine, the guy that does the, um, music supervision on, uh, master not, he picks all the songs you hear in the show. You know, he's a good friend of mine. And he, he told me like what he likes to do is like, he'll get up in the morning, you know, make a coffee and just like listen to a record. And then it's not, you know, not doing anything else. It just kind of, it's, it's a great way to start. It's, a, it's exactly what I do. That's yeah. what Massimo. I quite... yeah, the first week, the first week, I just put, you know, I order all the 20,000 vinyls. 
Que that I have é A A Z Z. You know, wow. vroom, vroom, vroom. You know, one week. It took one week to do it. Like the wow. first week, I didn't even see Massimo. He was in his record in his... room, door closed. I'm organizing. I'm getting it all together. And, it was uh, very, very. But now know. it's amazing. Every morning he wakes up, he puts on a record. The whole house fills up with music. It actually feels really great. It's very good. That's Our neighbors good. have yeah. mixed feelings about it. <laughs> <laughs> Our neighbor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we've never heard it and I'm surprised the neighbors have never complained but yeah our neighbors have not said anything we're okay that's nice good neighbors uh, good neighbors but um what else have I, I and I, I've been trying to like watch you know for me if I watch movies that's kind of like going to class it's like going to film school so I've been just watching old movies all the time yeah um, you know random things that I haven't seen and, and uh, that's been really nice as well a movie to recommend, an oldie or something kind of out of oh, the closet, unexpected. So, which one? Un film de consigliarci. Uh, well, I'll, I'll start with some Italian films. Uh, I was watching, now everyone knows of, you know, Bicycle Thieves is so famous. But there's a lot of other De Sica movies that I, I think are incredible. Uh, Shoeshine. De Sica. Uh, yeah, the Victoria De Sica. Uh, Shoeshine is incredible. Um, the uh, uh, the children are watching us. Have you seen it? Uh, no. Uh, Chiguarando. That's great. I, I love seeing him because those films, like he gets these such amazing performances out of the kids that are just they're they're, they're gut wrenching. And uh, what else have we been watching? I've been watching a lot of um, Ozu films. Uh, uh, Japanese director. Uh, what else? Um, the one we watched with Tony. Oh, I, I watched. Uh, uh, there's an Iranian director, uh, uh, Abbas Kirstami, um, and there's a film he did called uh, Where's the Friends Home? So good. Um, what else? Serena really likes, like, there's a, there's a guy, so there's a guy you wrote, there's a guy you wrote, Tinto Brass movie, two, two, Tinto what? Brass movie are those, uh, Trash 19, uh, 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 no, between 70 and 80s, sp or some other spaghetti western like Sergio mm -hmm. Leone, Clint Eastwood. Oh, messages we're getting everybody. Messages are crazy. Messages are crazy. Everyone is from Mexico are writing. We need master of tacos. <laughs> yeah. There are guys from Japan that is, is six o'clock in the morning. Wait, wait. This master is of cool. sushi. I'm just seeing the thing. See, I never go on Instagram. This is a, I almost wasn't able to log into the account. Like oh, I, I got off all the stuff like four or five years ago, and anything I post, it's is 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 my assistant. It's not me. <laughs> and so, well, it's good to know that. It's good to know that. <laughs> so this is yeah, first, I wasn't even able to log into my account. I didn't know the password, and I was like, <laughs> I can't try anything. And I finally got on, and so I've never even done anything like this. I've never seen this thing. It seems kind of crazy <laughs> that everyone can just, you can just type anything and people can see it. <laughs> I, <laughs> from Mexico. Hello. I love it. I love it. Everyone's I love so it. Happy oh my God. Hi to you. It, it's, it's crazy. I'm it's from crazy, Istanbul. But... Okay. So, Hello. <laughs> for who doesn't know, it's on Netflix, the series Master of None. Uh, series 1, Series 2, Series 2. Series 3, Series 3, also. Maybe series. La prossima anno. Il pro scusate, il prossimo anno. Speriamo. Il prossimo anno. Speriamo, speriamo. Speriamo, speriamo io. Eh, fortemente di, di guardare questo programma perché è veramente un ragazzo che no, fa ridere. Va, va scrivere a Scopioni. Uh, dopo uh, io, uh, <ride> chiamarò Netflix. Ah, uh, siamo pronto. <ride> <laughs> no, ma, it's ma, good to speak I mean, Italian. It, it helps me brush up. I, there are I, I people from all over the world that are watching us. Argentina, Polonia, uh, wow. Cape Town, uh, Peru, uh, you, Rhode Island. You know, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, wow. my God. So when yeah. are you coming next to Modena? Come back. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like that might be... Whenever it's... I, I really miss being in Italy, and especially, like, you know, like I said, like cooking has become such a part of, of my daily life and it, it's made me really thankful for the time I spent in Italy and a lot of the food I cook is Italian food and I've been cooking um, a lot of Italian stuff. I cook some Indian food. I've been cooking like a lot of my mom's recipes that I've always Ooh. wanted to learn. Do, do you remember, do you remember as is the dinner we had uh, 
in uh, in the Thai in the Thai place. Uh, oh, in Jitlada, LA. We went back there. We went back there. I love it. I oh, love it. She's so nice. Anybody oh, in LA, go go to go to Jitlada and get some takeaway. Jitlada, Jitlada. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thai food there. And uh, even yeah. uh, even we had uh, we had a beautiful party after the preview of Master of None uh, in New York see, together. See, see. That was that so was, uh, fun. fun. That was so fun. It's you know I you it, it this this whole thing it makes you it makes you realize those moments that you have like that you have to be even more grateful than you are because you you just never know what's going to happen in the world and and I've always tried to to be of that mind but you, you know yeah something like this happens and you're like wow I, I didn't even realize how much seeing just strangers just around was was such a pleasant part of my life you know what i mean yeah, yeah. very true very true just yeah. walking on the street and just you know small interactions i i had to go i i had to go get some medicine for something and i and i had to go to a pharmacy and then i had to go to another place to pay for it and i talked to like three or four different people and i remember those people's faces so well and and i was like wow it's it, you, you just the you couldn't take something more for granted just talking to a person that's not part of your life <laughs> yeah. you say oh how much is it and you're like oh it's nice that it's it, 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 there's people around. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not robots or whatever you know like a, it's, 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 it's crazy we can it take it for crazy. granted so easily and yeah. Yeah, yeah like if all those interactions were like oh you just tap your card whatever you don't see anybody you know whenever you see someone something could happen like maybe they have the same shirt you have on or or maybe they you know say this or that or maybe they even get angry at you <laughs> yeah exactly that's the old the old team of francescana is watching you right now oh, uh, they, everyone is saying hi every, they all miss you oh it's, it's amazing yeah i can't yeah. overstate how 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 much you guys I mean you guys I feel like you're you're such important uh, such an important part of of your city and I think your attitude and your kindness it 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 filters to the whole city and everyone everyone I've met there uh, Thank you. even before like the show came out and people you know knew who I was or who I was or anything everyone was always so kind and so welcoming and and, we and love they, they always just had open arms and and no yeah. and that's just kind of the whole vibe of Italy I feel and you know yeah. I know and you were you were an guys. important part of uh, this old gastronomic tourism that uh, was in Modena was like that's growing, uh, and, growing and growing and growing and growing and then boom zero But everyone we'll, desert you know we'll grow again we will grow yeah we will grow again that yeah, should just be fine i'll be there day one die oh, come on so i have a small request to ask of you do you think you can do you think you can give us a little bit of those um allora 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 <laughs> <laughs> the last the last so thing well. the last thing that that it, it's so funny like that's all italian people they just see me on the street now if ever i'm in italy people just Allora. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. Yes, that's me. That's the Allora guy. Which it's so good. Like, so. Everybody, everybody like, <laughs> Allora. 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 I feel like they well, now place the, the Italian sayings instead of the usual when Americans or foreign people when they say like instead of saying when they want to say something in Italian instead of saying like pasta, pizza, Mario, now it's Allora all the time. All the time. <laughs> Oh. Thanks to you. Thank, Thank you, you for that. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. So Thanks good to so see you guys. much. So good. So good to see you, my friend. Oh, so you good look to see really you guys too. really in good really shape. Tough. Yeah. Oh, well, I think tough, it's so tough. cool you guys are doing this. It seems <laughs> like you're inspiring a lot of people. Uh, you know, I was even having like kind of a grump. I feel like during this like do you feel like you have some days where you're kind of like you're okay and another day you're a little grumpier like i was kind of having a grumpy day and, and even just doing this with you guys has put me in in a great mood so uh, oh, <laughs> ben, 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 ben. it was our purpose it was not oh. the master class never been a master class we always thought we're going to share with our friend we're going to uh no filter come in uh, walk mm -hmm. in our kitchen and be part of our family dinner see 
uh, you know, Charlie's grumpy is grumpy. That's it. Yeah. Part of why we decided to do this was just exactly that. Like we knew there were going to be hard days and grumpy days. And we're a family that we never spend all this time together. Max is always at the restaurant. I'm off doing something else. Yeah. Max has been in college. So really making a focus on our dinner and eating together, cooking together, changed everything for us. And even if we're grumpy in a bad mood, we know we're going to be in that place at that time and all be together sharing that moment. Yeah. So thank you for stopping by. Yes. And oh, thank you for having me. Thank you, Mila. Gracias. Ciao, Serena. Ciao, Serena. Ciao, ciao, tutti. Ciao, tutti. Ciao. Sai che c'hai una casa qua, ok? Tu puoi ciao. venire quando vuoi a ciao. Modena. Sei uno di noi. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ci vediamo a presto, spero. Che messaggio devi dare, Charlie? Sei home, sei safe, il tono. Oh, oh thank you, Charlie. <ride> ciao, oh, ciao. 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 Ciao.